J Drone here. What's going on, guys? Anybody else still flying this? Sky Viper. Sky Viper was actually my first drone, not this one. It was a I don't even know what Sky Viper. I don't know. Um, it was brush. This is brushless. I actually got this out of Toys R Us. I did a price match guarantee on Walmart. It's already all set up. Um, normally you would have a app connected to it. It would be highly geofenced. Without the app on it, it's not geofenced. But let's go ahead and uh, put this up in the air. Give it a little fly. It's not been flown in forever. We are not going to do a full flight time because these were one of the first drones that I came in contact with that uh, got a flight time of about 20 minutes, a solid 20 minute, if not more. So this should be simple. It should be bound to satellites. Uh, from what I remember, we're going to hit this and it's going to jack up pretty high. I do hear something behind me. That's why you don't wear headphones. Um, we're going to also and that's cool that, uh, it didn't just dip. <laughs> it is a GPS drone. Even, even without the app, you can see the GPS is working. That's why I set it up before I started because, uh, I kind of let it sit there in hopes that the GPS would sit because there's no visual confirmation of that because you're not connected to an app. We're going to go ahead and bring it over here. Always like the look of this. I always like a embodied, uh, embodied camera drone. Uh, the Bebops. You had your Hubson uh, H107Cs embodied. Um, there was a couple of them. Some of the Explorer drones. Some of the Navigator drones. But let's go ahead and make sure there ain't no more traffic. We'll go ahead and just shoot it straight down. Has some speed to it. I don't know if I'm in the top speed setting. Uh, again, it's been a long time, and we're coming back. It's been a long time since I've flown this. It's flying good though. Let's just get it overhead, do a climb up. Um, I'm gonna stop my recording. Ooh, it's moving around up there. It's moving around up there. Let's see, Let's see what it's doing. It's trying to grab the satellites. Doing my mild toilet bowl, mild orbit. Not bad though, it stopped. It's moving though, so them satellites ain't super strong. But again, this was something you bought in uh, Walmart. This was something that you bought in... Uh... I wanted to try to record again. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to. I don't hear my controller going. Maybe I'm not close, let's see. No, maybe uh, SD cards full. I was trying to record, and when it starts recording, you hear a ble a uh, constant chirping on your controller, which is kind of cool. Let you know that uh, you definitely are recording. This might have been like eh, I don't know. This was the first retail brushless that I bought. Um, I had uh, definitely had an Alcenma. I probably had a couple FPV drones, um, smaller ones like Whoops and whatnot. And I mean, this thing's gonna fly forever. We're not gonna stand out here forever. But it, it was it was one of those things where it's like, wow, I actually got good money for what I paid for, and I did a price match guarantee, which knocked the price down. I think maybe a hundred dollars. I might have got this uh, brushless GPS drone app interface for a hundred. I have to check. Again, the GPS is not like a DJI drone at all. Um, the camera, which I wish I could get going again, but I, I'm not hearing. There, actually it did, it started going again. Um, you can hear the controller when it beeps. The camera's actually quite good on it. Obviously there's no image stabilization. Um, no image stabilization, no gimbal or anything, no electronic stabilization. But it is a solid camera. Like I'll go ahead and put it up here. Get a view of the small town next to me. Give you a basic look at the camera here. Um, this is that scene that we were just at when we just go straight up and we're kind of just hovering up there. It's a basic 
example of the GPS that it does definitely work. Um, it's a little wobbly. It's not perfect. And again, there's no image stabilization. But as far as the quality of the video, it's pretty darn good. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. I will do a specific video just on this guy's camera because I have a little bit more footage, uh, a little bit longer video. And uh, we could just upload that, maybe add some music to it. So stay tuned for that. Guys, who else is out here flying this drone? How many of the guys that said they was about the drones years ago, where they at? Huh? Did they really like the drone? I really like this drone. It's a brushless drone. And again, I got my money's worth because I'm pretty sure I paid 100 